Good afternoon. I'm Achla Vagal, and I'll be talking about human-centered design in radiology on behalf of our team at University of Cincinnati. So, what is human-centered design? If I were to ask you what do you think about when I use the term design, Design is the act of changing existing situations into preferred ones. But truthfully, design is everywhere around us. It's from the coffee cup that we drink from. It's even in the design of this theater. Design thinking is a creative problem-solving technique, but the essence of design thinking is empathy. Empathy towards all its stakeholders and users, where we truly understand their story, are able to tell it, to then build functional prototypes, test it, to build feasible, holistic solutions. Design thinking was first introduced in the business world, but it's slowly taking its hold in the healthcare industry. And it's not just about designing spaces or designing products, it's about designing or redesigning systems redesigning operations, but with a human touch. The design thinking process has a few critical steps. The first, of course, is identify what is the problem. The second one is research. This is qualitative research techniques, where there is surveys, there is questionnaires, there is benchmarking, both internal and external. The next phase is ideation or conceptualizing where it is storyboarding and brainstorming, where you take this entire composite of representative characters and truly understand their intersection points and pain points. We then go into the detail or the refinement phase, take these insights, and then build on it to get functional prototype solution, test its strengths, weaknesses, to go into the next steps of deep dive and implementation. Note that this is not linear. These are all integrated together. So let me tell you about our design thinking journey so far at the University of Cincinnati. We were privileged to partner with UC DAP, which is one of the world's best design schools, LiveWell, who has partnered with clients like Boeing and PNG, and GE Healthcare's global design team. Our objective was to understand the optimal outpatient experience because we want to transform the entire healthcare pathway. So we started with stakeholder interviews, and these included everybody, right from the schedulers to the referring physicians to technologists, patients, families, patient experience group, advocacy groups, the radiologists, and the trainees. Because we want to understand what is their positive and negative experience to build their patient journey map, take these insights, co-create these 10 top areas of priority where then we can create the functional prototype solutions. We went back to the stakeholders, tested these concepts, created a project pipeline to then present the ideal patient journey. Let me tell you, this was a very team-enabling process. We all came together, and the top themes that emerged in the project pipeline were these three. Humanizing radiology, transforming brand and culture, and information sharing. As you can see from these images, we had a ton of fun. There were sticky notes all around the walls. We had hula hoops, we had skits, where we, we were trying to understand the patient journey from the referral to the point where the results are delivered, assuming nothing. We came together from within radiology and outside radiology. There were more than 60 participants. We then had a deep dive and then showcased these results to our leadership, our dean, our CEO, everybody invested. This was a very momentum gathering exercise for us. Now we are exercised and energized into going to the next phase. Obviously, this is an ongoing process and we feel that we have just started. And now the final question. Before any initiative has started, the why. Why is design thinking critical in healthcare and radiology? Because it identifies the core learning from these complex, what I like to call the wicked problems of healthcare, translates them into actionable projects. We know that we need to go from volume to value-based. We also know that we want to empower our patients. In fact, we have to go beyond that. We have to go beyond patient-centered. What I would argue is an unhappy radiologist or an unhappy technologist will translate into an unhappy patient. 
So if you look at it from the lens of a scared six-year-old child entering the MR scanner and transform it into a pirate adventure, that's a completely different experience. And how great it would be if we can have a completely transformed experience for every patient, child or adult, and for every staff member. So friends, in this era of structured systems and machines, welcome home to human-centered radiology, because that will be tomorrow's radiology. Thank you very much.